Nvidia graphics cards don't really have the best reputation when it comes to using them on the Linux desktop. Their proprietary driver has been causing issues for some system configurations for a long time. From breaking secure boot support to stop working after an update and general stutters on the desktop when using the now increasingly used Wayland protocol. It's just not great compared to AMD's and Intel's approach with the open source 3D graphics library Mesa. But this might change really soon, as Nvidia has not only started to offer some open source kernel modules to just initiate your GPU, but are now also directly contributing changes that would finally allow it to run on Mesa as well. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Nvidia GPUs on the Linux desktop, how the situation around their proprietary driver changed, and even if it even was that bad to begin with. And let's get straight into it. I think it's best if we first start off with the current situation on how someone with an Nvidia GPU experiences Linux. So first things first, you have your system and want to install Linux on it. Now if you did some research beforehand and chose a Linux distribution that comes with the proprietary driver pre-installed, then that's good, since you often don't have to do anything to get it working. Besides maybe disabling secure boot, though this is often just caused by the distribution itself. If you just went with a different distro altogether, then you can typically make your way through the installer and log into your system just fine. This is because by default, Nvidia GPUs can use the open source Nouveau driver, which provides some basic functionality, like changing the resolution and refresh rate, and also doing some basic tasks like web browsing. But it's nowhere near Mesa, which is used on AMD and Intel GPUs. So if you want to play video games or get into something more professional, which needs hardware acceleration, you definitely need to install the proprietary driver, which unfortunately doesn't have the same process on every distribution. Ubuntu and Linux Mint, for example, have a driver manager. On Fedora, you need to enable third-party repositories during installation or in the software manager afterwards, and it should show up. On Debian, you first need to enable the non-free repositories, and on Arch you can just use the package manager. Only if all of that fails should you touch the one from their official homepage. Why? Well, because it can happen that a certain driver version won't work properly on your specific distribution and might break it if you try to force it on there. Alright, that sounded complicated, but it actually wasn't much that we did here. Boot up your system, look for a driver tool or into the software manager, and on a more user-friendly distro you typically find something. Like that is how it's currently done if you don't want to rely on the terminal. Compared to the Mesa stack, which is basically just go as soon as you're done installing Linux, this is a bit harder and sometimes causes some downtime after an update. But this sometimes is really really rare. However, like mentioned earlier, Nvidia seems to be actually committing to open source now, so we might actually get to see an out of the box experience like we have on AMD and Intel. Up until very recently, Novu, the current open source driver implementation, had to be reverse engineered from the ground up, which was especially tough in the past, when Nvidia didn't even provide anything to open source. But it's not just that they transitioned some kernel modules to open source, but Nvidia is now finally waking up and preparing Wayland support, often even in collaboration. With both GNOME and KDE Plasma, as well as other desktop environments transitioning to Wayland, this is very important. Something that I never got to experience personally, even on a much older release, is the stuttering or unwanted screen tearing that some of the Linux community experience. For those of you who did experience some of those problems, you should know that this problem should be resolved now, as Nvidia graphics cards can now utilize the explicit sync protocol, which basically tells all the relevant components for rendering when something is complete. The reason on why it took so long to get the proper experience is because typically when explicit sync isn't available, you would rely on implicit syncing. But Nvidia just refused to implement this. So this explains all the stuttering and tearing that some users were experiencing. Basically a mismatch between GPU and compositor. Now with explicit sync being here, it should help to increase stability, frame consistencies and maybe even performance a bit, but this shouldn't be noticeable. So everything's good now? Well, even though Nvidia opened up their kernel level drivers that helped to even get the card running in the first place, and they started to contribute some code to NVK, which is basically the same as Nuvu, except already built upon the open source kernel stuff, this doesn't mean that it will be perfect. Nvidia is the market leader in computer graphics, which means that they don't really want to share most of their technology. 
So even if a fully fledged open source NVIDIA driver were to come along, as soon as you need CUDA support, DLSS or NVENC, then it kind of falls apart. And they actually aren't even alone in this. Like AMD and Intel contribute a lot to open source compared to NVIDIA, but even they often provide certain solutions or components that require an additional installation, since the open source ones are just not there yet or they simply don't want to add them. Alright, let's circle back. Is NVIDIA a viable choice on Linux? I would honestly say it always has been. Like there are a lot of users that have issues. And yes, those issues don't necessarily apply to AMD or Intel cards. But given how many systems rely on Nvidia, even on Linux, by comparison it's actually not that bad. We also shouldn't forget that Wayland is still not a default on a lot of desktop environments and distributions, which further lessens the impact of some problems. Like I used to have an Nvidia GPU and while I didn't really use it on Wayland all that often, mainly because the implementation of Wayland itself was still very bare bones, I didn't notice an immediate improvement after switching to AMD. A lot of comments on Nvidia are just a remnant of the past, whereas an issue is first associated with them instead of actually being the problem of something else entirely. And especially for professionals, Nvidia just has the better tools. CUDA and NVENC are still two technologies that no one has come to replicate with the same amount of polish and support. Sure, OpenCL is a thing, but it didn't catch up to CUDA fast enough and is now just not integrated that well in a lot of applications. That being said, if I had the choice, I would still go with AMD again. Or maybe even Intel if their GPUs finally manage to compete. When it comes to raw performance for the buck, then these options are a much better deal. They manage to handle everything I work with and when it comes to gaming, I prefer higher FPS to things like ray tracing anyway. And like I said, especially AMD beats Nvidia here. Alright, so Nvidia has seen a lot of improvements this year and continues to surprise the open source community, but it still remains to be seen on how far they will actually go to commit to open source. And that's about it. So what do you think of Nvidia? Do you own a GPU from then and if so, how is your experience? I would really like to read about your thoughts, so definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel make even better videos, then please make sure to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos. Thank you so much for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.